What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro of Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have the May 2022 Reno Tahoe International Airport Update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. We have a lot going on in today's airport update. A bunch of new models, a bunch of new aircraft movements, and so many awesome things in today's RNO Airport Update. I really hope you guys are excited for it. And with all that being said, we're not going to waste any further time. And let's get started. Of course, as per usual, we'll start over here with the Southwest Airlines such. We may change it up next time, but I thought it would be nice to get Southwest again here. As we have a lot of awesome movements for Southwest as they they always have been consistent. We'll start up there on top with the Boeing 737-700 and heart livery with blended winglets. These guys are currently loaded up with a non-stop service today out to San Jose, California after making a non-stop flight in from Burbank. Next up, we have the 737-800 right here in heart livery with split scimitars. These guys are currently making a non-stop flight today out to uh, Los Angeles today after making a non-stop service today in from Oakland. Currently pushing back, we have the Boeing 737 MAX 8. This guy's currently making a non-stop flight in from Denver today, and he'll continue out to, um, I lost it, darn it, Las Vegas. There we go, perfect. And then in honor of this aircraft, I know one of these recently got retired. I don't know about both of them, but hopefully the MAX uh, version will be out very soon because obviously they're going to be transpiring the uh, Southwest Airlines 737 Desert livery up to the 737 MAX. But here is the 737-700 example, of course. Still very glad to have this model. It's a really pretty one. This guy's currently making non-stop service today in from... Uh, I was trying to think of a good Southwest founding place, but nevertheless, we'll say this guy's currently coming in from San Diego and he's going to have a continuing service today. Excuse me. Um, why am I running out of Southwest routes already? Dang, that's kind of unusual. Um, thinking of it, and I can't think of it off the top of my head. What did I have there? There's a lot of West Coast stuff for Southwest that's interesting. I believe I already got Los Angeles, so let's go with... Um, I, can't, I can't believe I'm missing routes. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, we'll just say another Phoenix. I thought that I had some additional routes, but I must have, um, something must have happened there. Sorry about that, but nevertheless, still looking very good for Southwest. They are going super strong, and I'm very proud of their efforts. Hopefully, some new routes to come as well. Next up, we have the McCord C-17 back for the U.S. Air Force. So glad to finally have this back. Love to get that military variety in. This guy's kind of making non-stop service today. Uh, in from McCord Air Force Base, of course. He's just doing a little training around the United States. He's going to have a continuing service over to Travis Air Force Base for us today. Very, very nice to see that. Love to see some variety. And of course, the airline's also going very strong. Sorry that kind of cuts the Southwest a little bit short right there. They're doing great. I'm really proud to see how strong they're going and hopefully some new stuff to come very soon as well. All right, slightly got tilted there, but we're going to fix that up right there. Right here, we have the Delta Airlines Boeing 737-900ER. This guy's kind of loading up with the non-stop service today back out to Salt Lake City on the turnaround. 737-800, 737-900, and Ember 175 on the daily service. Going very well. Then you're going to find the Delta Connection Ember ERJ-170. Yikes. Filling in for SkyWest Ember ERJ-175 with enhanced winglets. This so guy's going to make a non-stop flight today in from Los Angeles, and we'll be heading back out there. You'll find three daily still. What a great route that's been for Delta. It's been awesome to see that. Currently uh, loading up and getting ready for the flight back out to Los Angeles this is this JetBlue Airways Airbus A320 in Spotlight Tail. Uh, crooked titles right there, a little unfortunate, but all good. Uh, he came in from New York on Kennedy earlier, just a little bit ago. Last but certainly not least, currently pulling into the gate, we have the AHA Airlines Ember Ear J-145. This guy's gonna make a non-stop flight today in from um, Medford, Oregon. He's gonna have a continuing service excuse me continuing service today out to palm springs very excited for our new route to santa rosa that will begin on july 14th of 2022 so really glad to see you have a hot expanding and hopefully they're doing very very well you'd love to see it Alrighty, everybody welcome over to concourse c we have a lot of awesome movements going on over here as well quite a few gates occupied as well so you love to see it so let's start taking a look we'll begin over here with the united airlines section as usual as we have a lot of awesome aircraft over here on top of your screen you're going to find the united express uh bombardier nace your day 700 but the half of the skywest airlines so it's going to make a non-stop flight today in from uh los angeles and we'll be heading right back out there really clear i have los angeles on crj 700 it's been forever since i've been able to use my beautiful crj 550 really glad to finally get to use it again of course for the 700 uh, Sky West, which is really nice. I'll be eager to see if Gemini does it again. It's a very rare model. I think many people would appreciate it. And it's, uh, man, it's been really unfortunate that I had quite a bit of dust on it. So hopefully they'll be uh, coming into more of my airport soon. But for, for now, we got what we got. So we got to make do with what we have. Next up, we have the Night Express Ember Ear J-175 filling, or this is on the behalf of Mesa Airlines, excuse me, and Skywest Airlines. So it's gonna make a non-stop flight from Mesa in from Houston or Continental, IAH. And we'll head out to San Francisco SFO today for Skywest. Very glad to get both subsidiaries going in strong. United's still doing pretty good despite no service to Chicago, which kind of blows my mind, but what can I say at this point? Who knows? It's, it's absolutely insane. 
Her currently right here in the front, you're gonna find the United Airlines Airbus A320 in the Continental Globe colors. So you guys are currently loading up with the nonstop flight today out to Denver, Colorado today. You're gonna find two daily 737-800s and a daily A320 along with, I think, one RJ flight as well. So really excited to see uh, several seats there for Denver and they're doing a great job competing against Allegiant and Southwest. Next up over to the American Airlines section and some low cost carriers where we'll find some additional new models. This is the American Airlines Boeing 737-800 right here in normal livery with no logo on the winglet. This guy's gonna make a nonstop flight today in from Dallas, Fort Worth, and we'll be heading back out there. Another very consistent route for the airport and it's been going really strong, so you'll love to see it. Absolutely awesome right there. We'll get this aircraft since we kind of panned into it. So right here, currently taxing in, getting ready to take the gate of that 737 over there. You have the American Eagle Embraer Ear J-175 on behalf of uh, Envoy Air, excuse me. So you guys are gonna make a nonstop flight today in from uh, Austin, Texas, and we'll be heading back out there. Really glad to see Austin going strong on a daily Embraer Ear J-175. They've been doing a really good job with that service and very proud to see their efforts going super strong. So I think the route's doing really good too. So you love to see that. It's really, really nice. Next up, we have the Allegiant Air Airbus A320, the new Panda model exclusive via the RM model store. Really glad to have this model. It looks absolutely awesome. Sorry about the uh, absolutely miserable lighting on it, though. It's definitely the worst lit gate on the airport, so I apologize about that. Nevertheless, this guy's going to make a nonstop flight today in from Las Vegas, and we'll be heading back out there. Uh, the Wiki did get updated for several airports, and I did notice that se some routes are going away uh, that we had last summer. We'll talk about those a little bit more in depth. But a few of those included Reno Tahoe, which was a little bit later edition, but it definitely was there along with Jackson Hole that was a seasonal route last year is also biting dust so definitely unfortunate again I think more of these may be pilot shortages especially for Allegiant rather than the manned issues but yeah for now we just have Las Vegas so looking good on the A320. Next up, you're gonna find another new model still. This is the Frontier Airlines Airbus A320neo. This is Ed, Eddie, and Edwin the Penguins. Really glad to have this aircraft. It's been a workhorse already and a really pretty one. As you can see, the Penguins looking great. Very nice livery, and they're also right there on the wing as well. How about that? They look absolutely awesome. This guy's gonna make a nonstop flight today in from Denver, and it's gonna have a continuing service out to uh, Las Vegas, which those routes have been going great on the A320 and A320neo right there. And another new model, of course, we have the American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the current colors with the winglet logo. Been very happy to have this in the updates. This guy's gonna make a nonstop service in from Phoenix today. He's gonna be heading back out there. Thought I'd get the Phoenix 737 going since, uh, you know, I put on the Airbus almost every update because I think that makes a little bit more sense, but hey, gotta make do, or I'm sorry, not necessarily gotta make do, but gotta get that variety in when you can, so I thought it'd be nice. It's been a great model. It's really grown on me. I've been really happy to have it. NG Models did an outstanding job with it, and I think it looks absolutely awesome. So, unfortunately, another route that's going to be Biden dust that was a seasonal last year was Charlotte. I'm really surprised because I thought that route did very, very well. So, uh, it's really unfortunate to see that going, but hopefully, maybe sometime we'll get it back. But for now, it's just going to be these. Also, Los Angeles is nowhere to be seen. I'm not sure what the heck's going on with that, but no LAX at this time. Just uh, Austin, Los Angeles, or Los, uh, sorry, Austin, Phoenix, and Dallas here for American, and no Chicago either. So, American definitely um, not at their strongest point here at Reno, but they are getting a good bit of frequencies in to compensate for it at least, so that's nice. Sorry, the shadow is kind of uh, frustrating. All right, there we go. So. Uh, in the foreground over there, you're gonna find the Alaska Airlines section. We have the Boeing 737-900 here on the bottom in the One World livery. This guy's currently making a nonstop turn in from Seattle, Washington. He's gonna be heading back out there. Really nice service, various aircraft on that. It's been going really well. We have the Alaska Embraer Air J-175 on the behalf of Horizon Air. This guy's currently making a nonstop flight today in from San Francisco. It's gonna have a continuing service today over to uh, Portland for us today. Been really happy to see those. I'll get some dashes in as well. Just thought that it'd be nice to get the Embraer Air J-175 in for this update. Looking great. Also on that last guy, I want to say I'm really excited for the new one. It didn't look like it had much wing flex, so that is absolutely awesome to see from Gemini Jets. Nevertheless, currently waiting for a gate to open up, we have this UPS Airbus A300 freighter. This guy's currently making a nonstop flight in from San Sacramento, pardon me, MHR's airport. It's going to have a continuing service today over to, I believe it was Ontario for the A300. So lots of UPS routes in the really busy cargo section as we're about to see. Currently pulling in to go take the gate over there, we have the DHL Boeing 737-800 freighter. This guy's currently making a nonstop flight in from Phoenix today, and we'll be heading out to Los Angeles following that. What a workhorse this has been. It's been really nice to have that in there. Very, very nice right there. Currently taxiing into the gate, we have the Velars Airbus A320 currently coming in from Guadalajara. Uh, really great to get the A320 in here once again. It's been a little bit, so I'm very glad to have this in here. It's an absolutely beautiful airplane, and it looks really, really nice. So Velars going great here at Reno as well. They've been having uh, several weekly frequencies, so really happy to see that right there. That is absolutely awesome. 
Currently loading up right here at the FBO. As you can see, we got the little FBO going here. Hope to make a custom building. Let me know if you guys have any feedback, recommendations, thoughts for the building, architectural style and all that. Definitely want it to be probably about this big and have a really nice glass outside along with a really nice entrance point, roof and such, things like that. So definitely very excited for that. Nevertheless, this uh, JSX Ember Ear Dredge 135 is currently making a nonstop flight today in from uh, Burbank. It's gonna have a continuing service today over to Santa Anza, Orange County. Uh, really excited for the Gemini Jets version. The customs has been an absolute workhorse, but I'm really excited for the proper JSX. So that'll be really nice. And still crazy that it's getting done to this uh, point. Um, I didn't set this up right this, and it's a little bit uh, far-fetched from what I would want it to be. I actually had the Learjet like this initially, but actually it kind of gave me inspiration to act like this is turning around. So here we have one of the small GA ramps on the airport. There's a bigger one in Fantasyland, of course, but we'll just say that this is a good one right here by this FBO. So currently on top, we have the Cessna 172. This guy's currently making a local flight around the area. He's going to do some pattern work or some circuits around the airport, so that'll be very nice. And currently taxiing out, we have this Learjet 75. Really happy with this custom. Definitely expect to how to make a custom Shapeways uh, aircraft video coming very soon, just custom aircraft in general. Uh, I'm really, really excited to share uh, this with you guys. I know a lot of you guys have requested for it, so definitely expect that. It'll be absolutely awesome. So that's currently taxing out with the nonstop service today. Uh, let's send him over to, excuse me, uh, San Diego Montgomery Field, and he had a, a service, or, or he's going to have a service out, or in from, excuse me. Man, I cannot talk today. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, let's go with uh, Grand Junction today in Colorado. So very nice to see the variety going strong there. I'd love to see it. This FedEx Express Boeing 757-200 freighter just got pushed back. If I can get a little bit better view, not really. This guy's currently pushed back. He has non-stop service today on the uh, flight out to Grand Falls. Great Falls, excuse me. He had a service in from Oakland earlier. And then you have the two Boeing 767-300 freighters loading up very strong right here. In the front, we have the FedEx Express Boeing 767-300 freighter. So that's currently making a non-stop flight today in from Memphis, Tennessee, and we'll be heading back out there. That flight's been going really strong. It's double daily, so you'll love to see that. Looking absolutely awesome. And right here, we have the UPS Boeing 767-300 freighter. I'm really excited to have this back at long last in a proper manner. I've had it here and there, but it's finally going to Louisville, which is really exciting. So this guy's kind of making excuse me another low power mode annotation you love to see those this guy's gonna make a non-stop flight today uh in from there was several routes for this particular uh flight though let's say he was coming in from i don't think it was portland i'm pretty sure it was um was it ontario i think it was ontario i thought ah, dang it i I had it. It was. I think it was Portland, Ontario. We'll go with uh, Ontario from today. It's going to be heading out to Louisville. I've been really excited to see those examples. So it's been really nice. So our no cargo is going strong. Speaking of which, got some additional GSC and everything over there, looking great. So very nice to see that on the cargo ramp as they're getting ready right here for this um, UPS Boeing 757-200 freighter. So guys, currently, currently, excuse me, making a non-stop flight today in from. Uh, Spokane, Washington. Really, really cool to see Spokane going great right there. It's going to have a continuing service today over to... Mm, there was several. Um, let's go with... Uh, this is a tough choice because they had Louisville and then different ones too. Um, let's go with Denver. We'll go with Denver. Get the really nice variety here for Reno Tahoe International Airport. As that will do for today's update. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. A uh, solid variety, you know, Reno's going pretty strong, you know. Uh, lots of good posts on the Instagram. Of course, the big news was those new routes, uh, Las Vegas and Minneapolis, St. Paul for uh, Spirit and uh, Sun Country, respectively. And then uh, the new service for AHA is also big. So like to see the new service for Reno and it's really, really consistent airport. Lots of great cargo ops, great passenger ops, a really good variety of regional jets and mainline airplanes, along with the military and the C-130, a little ops there for the Re or Nevada Air National Guard. That'd be really cool to represent one day hopefully soon i would really like to do that but i gotta get some additional c-130s before that could be realistic but i could definitely use the one i have at least to get started with that so that'll be really nice again sorry that there wasn't a ton of news but these airports one like i said i said this in orange county last time um it's been not like 2021 of course we saw so many new routes and aircrafts and all kinds of stuff now it's just been really consistent it's kind of a level off, which is very unfortunate because uh, I really wanted to see some new additions and we are seeing new additions. It's just been different. So hopefully we'll get back on track consistently. I'd really like to see that. But for the moment, uh, we're just gonna, I, I mean, aviation's in a great state. We're definitely making a lot of progress and I'm really excited to see what's to come going forward. So I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be awesome. Very optimistic about the future. It's gonna be really, really good. And again, Reno making a lot of progress, just been very consistent. Uh, going into summer here, hopefully we'll have some great ops here at Reno. It's a great place to travel and of course, 
course, we have AHA and various other airlines to be super excited about with uh, so many awesome movements. And I think it's going to be absolutely awesome going into the future. Again, just checking the social media re uh, socials. They've just been promoting various things, parking and getting on time uh, to the airport on time, along with uh, some of the new routes and everything up the uh, TSA, all that fun stuff, which has been great. And the website's had a couple things on too, but fairly quiet, but sometimes quiet isn't a bad thing by any means. So love to see how great Reno's going. It's been absolutely awesome. And I'm so excited for what's to come. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Red Dirt Aviation. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Red Dirt Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon as Red Dirt Aviation is signing off.